Unraveling the Prayer Mat, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English learning series. In today's video, we'll be exploring the meaning and usage of the term prayer mat. It's a phrase that carries cultural significance, and we'll delve into its usage in English. Whether you're learning English as a second language or you're just curious about cultural expressions, you're in the right place. So, let's get started. A prayer mat is a piece of fabric, often beautifully designed, used by individuals to kneel on when they engage in prayer, particularly within various religious traditions. It is commonly used by Muslims, who place the mat on the ground to perform their prayers five times a day. The significance of the prayer mat extends beyond its practical use. It symbolizes a sacred space for worshipers to connect with the divine. While the primary use of a prayer mat is to provide a clean and isolated platform for prayer, it also holds deep cultural significance. Each mat may have unique patterns or designs that reflect the artistic heritage of the culture it comes from. Additionally, the act of using a prayer mat can signify respect, devotion, and tradition in the religious practice. When describing a prayer mat in English, we focus on its features and function. For example, you might hear phrases like, the prayer mat is embroidered with intricate patterns, or, he rolled out his prayer mat facing towards Mecca before praying. Notice how descriptive words convey respect and appreciation for the object's detail and purpose. Let's look at some common phrases where the term, prayer mat, is used. She placed her prayer mat on the floor. The room was filled with people on their prayer mats. Can you fetch my prayer mat from the shelf? These sentences show the practical use of the phrase in everyday language, which can help in understanding context and usage. That's all for today's video on the meaning of prayer mat. We hope this video has enlightened you on this simple yet profound term and that you can now use it confidently in your conversations and writing. Remember, Learning a language also means understanding the cultural items and practices that come with it. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning!